Y'all saw it on the GoPro. Just caught this one on a big old flutter spin. Haven't weighed it yet. We're gonna see what the weight is on it. Mm. If my bubble scale will turn on. Okay, bubble scale's not turning on. We'll get a weight on it a little bit. We're gonna touch the bottom though. Shouldn't have to call it. Big bag alert. Hey, do we have a big fish? What's y'all's number? 21. We have Jacob and John. We have a big bass alert. Who caught it? Who caught it? Jacob caught the big bass, everybody. We have a, uh-oh, a 513. 5'13. What a fish for today. Awesome. So do we have five? We got five. Look at this bag. Were y'all fishing on the same lake as everybody? I mean, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all like lock down to like, we got, we're about to have a bag. This is this is a mom L mega sack for September. Here we go. Five fish, everybody. Five fish. Man, I can't even vent the basket. What are we doing? No way. Five fish, everybody. 20 pounds. 34, 34 ounces. 20.33. 20.33. Go 23. Good job. Come on here, guys. What a bag. All right, we got to talk. How did we catch these fish today? And you, you can, you're going to make something up, but like, I mean, like, how are they going to go out there and duplicate oh, what oh you did? Okay. It's all going to be on YouTube. Jacob be outdoors. There we go. Uh -huh. Flutter spoon all day long. No, we didn't. The flutter spoon. Flutter spoon. Which flutter spoon? I don't know the brand. Don't tell me it's a Dixie Jet. It, I, I didn't it's, catch any on that. I okay, he, he, he changed it up. I like it. They're smart. They read the live yep. scope, take it off, throw another lure. John, how many did you catch? I don't even, yeah, we, we were switching on and off. We only had one flutter spin. Right. We're going to break it down now. Did they bite first thing, middle day, later? Were we fishing ledges, points, drops? Were we thrown out there in the middle of the lake? I mean, come on, break it down. It was it was late in the day, brush piles for sure. But, uh, yeah, we uh, we had a one one pound, a couple one-pounders in the sack about noon, one o'clock. So. The flutter spoon, I love it. Oh, hey, anybody I want to thank before I let you guys go? Uh, huge thanks to all my sponsors, uh, my mom, my dad. They're not here today. They're on a cruise without me, but it's all right. Uh, grandpa's right there. My boat, my boat captain had to fill in him today, but yeah. Yeah, thanks to all my sponsors, uh, mom and dad, and Dustin Goat, boat captain us today. Congrats, guys. 20 pounds on this lake any time of year, but in the fall, what a bag. Good job. Good job, guys. Congrats. Spoon Brothers right now. And the Flutter Spoon Bros. We got Jacob Burkhead and John Clancher. Five fish for 20 pounds right here. Big bass of 513 also. All right, guys. We're out here on Maumelle. This past weekend, me and John cracked a 20-pound bag on here, out here in the Arctic High School Bachelors Trail. And everyone's been asking how we've been catching them. Flutter Spoon right here. So today I'm going to go over how we use it and all the techniques. As the spoons I like to use, this is a Nichols Ben Parker series spoon. I like using the bigger spoons a lot better than the small ones. They get less bites, but usually the bites on them are bigger. Um, but you really need to just try out which spoons you like the best. Some spoons they'll bite on, some they won't. I throw it on a 7-1 casting. This is a Daiwa Tatula SVF. It is a medium heavy. has some good uh, fast rod tip action, which is what I like. So whenever you're fluttering the spoon up and down, whenever that fish bites, you're really already setting the hook into it. And it's also on a die with the Tula 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. This is the TWS. I want more fast action reel so you take up that slack whenever it falls down. Okay. Alright guys, to work with Flutter Spoon, what you're going to do is you're going to find brush piles. It, it helps a lot if you have forward facing sonar. If you don't, you can still use it. You just got to know where brush piles are. Uh, basically, you're going to find a brush pile. There's a small one out here. And this is how we we're catching them. You're gonna work, you're gonna cast it out there. Alright, so once it gets down over top of the brush pile, you, what I do is I put my hand right here and kind of give it the little, little jerk. Uh, I know some people who do it like, do it like little small, little small jerks if they're, if the fish are following them. But I like to give it to the big aggressive ones. You can do like a one, two, but that's what I do. Just over top of brush piles and you'll see them. It's like a glide bait where you'll have a bunch of fish follow it. A lot of them won't eat. <laughs> but the ones that will eat are usually big ones. So you just gotta keep throwing it, working it. But yeah. Let's 
see if we can get one on camera for you. Some brush piles down here. Just working over top brush piles, you know, working over top rock piles. Even we caught some on some spinning fish doing this too. And they're pretty easy to see on the live scope because they shine so much. You can actually see it like glare off the transducer down there. But yeah, you're just gonna work it like that, guys, and then you'll get hooked up on one. You'll know when you get bit. All right, guys. John just caught this one on the floater spoon out here, Lake Mall Mill. They're on the floater spoon bite, aren't they, John? Oh yeah. It's going good. Big yep. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Flipping brush piles. This is a good fish, whatever it is. It's a, oh, it's a good one. Oh, you're barely hooked there. We're gonna land this guy real quick. Well, that sounded weird. Look at that fish, guys. All right, guys. Right there on the flutter spoon. Probably four pounder. Well, maybe a little bit bigger, but yup. All right, guys. As you can see, flutter spoon by on mall mail is on over brush piles, over rock piles. Go out here, try to catch some. As you saw, we caught two big ones today. We dropped a 20 pound bag on them last Saturday. They're on the flutter spoon by, guys. But that's how you use it. If you have any questions, let me know. DM me or leave it in the comments. But this is going to be in the video. See y'all.